So I'll be here with uh, Thin Film in the high. So who are you? Hi, I'm Matt Bright from Thin Film, based in San Jose, California. We're a company that's focused on NFC solutions. So that means the physical piece and the digital piece of what it takes to bring NFC to market. Something like, uh, like this part over there? Exactly. So this is an NFC tag. So these NFC tags are built into products and packages. That's what allows them to become interactive. Um, in a very cost-effective way, but also a very so user-friendly way. What you're looking at here is an integrated circuit. Yeah. So this integrated circuit is uh, it's not powered printed. by the energy. There's, yeah, so there's no, uh, this is a printed IC. This is powered by energy that's harvested in this uh, antenna here. It's that, a printed IC. That's right. So this is coming from the, um, from the phone. The power goes in the antenna, powers the chip. And then the chip communicates its information back through the antenna to the phone, and that's what drives the NXT experience on the mobile device. So how much, com uh, how complicated is that chip? So these chips are relatively simple. They need to be able to uniquely identify the product. They need to be able to communicate wirelessly back to the uh, mobile device. Securely identify also and stuff. The secure element or something kind of. So there are different levels of security for different types of NFC applications. So what we're looking at here is relatively mass market products. So this is designed to go into everyday products on the shelf. Then there are more secure versions of NFC that you may use on higher end authentication so applications. So each of these have a unique ID. Exactly. So each one of these is the unique chip identification. Is changed slightly. Sorry? The chip, something is changed in the chip. That's right. So yeah. So there's a read-only memory stored on each side of these chips, and that's what has the unique identity that uh, is variable from device to device. So that's what allows you to identify not just um, a particular category of product but a particular item of that product. And uh, do you print these uh, all together, the whole, uh, the whole, the whole uh, NFC thing, is it in one print? So or is it two different things put together? Or? Yeah, so this is, a, this is a single chip. It's based on uh, a metal foil substrate. So that's printed in multiple steps on that, that common substrate. So that's what allows us to manufacture this. Um, so is that glued electron. onto the rest of it? Exactly. So there's an antenna that's, that's produced independently. That is attached to the IC. And then the, and that together produces uh, an entire NFC tag. And uh, uh, it's precision gluing or something? That's right, yeah. So there's an attached process that, that brings the IC together into the antenna. And that together forms the NFC tag. So. Right. And so you have some uh, concepts right here where uh, there's one thing that's uh, the yes. famous. Let's look uh, at the famous Amazon Dash button. Which is cool. It's a very cool product. So if you don't know the Amazon Dash button, it's a button. It's uh, relatively thick. It's plastic. has a battery inside. It's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connected. But this is really the pioneer in bringing commerce everywhere. So think about this as taking the IoT to the point where a single button will allow you to order a product. Every time you click it? That's right. Every time you, you click. you're ordering something. Exactly. I'm ordering Amazon gift cards. So nice. I have something so waiting for me when I go home. <laughs> when you come home? Yeah. So uh, gift card every time you click. That's and, right. Uh, but that's like you're doing a different idea of this, a different way of doing this. That's right. So think of this, this is version 1.0 of what we call commerce everywhere. The idea that you can have an Internet of Things connected item that will allow you to establish commerce or, or initiate commerce, so a reorder. So we have an answer to that in the form of an NFC product. This is a new product category that we brought to market together with Campari. Campari is a spirits brand. What is this? So this is a magnet. It's intended to be attached to a refrigerator. You can remove it, it comes on a, on a backing. So this will be attached to your refrigerator, and this allows you to um, to reorder this particular Appleton Estate rum, or a Campari, or Espelon tequila, Sky vodka, or Aperol. So let me show you how these work. So I'll show you the Sky, because that'll be a, a good example here. So you use your phone, NFC phone, and when you have this, you gotta have it attached to your refrigerator. There's an icon that says tap here. So here we're going to tap directly with the phone. Now this, I happen to have the Drizzly app installed. Drizzly is an alcohol delivery service that relies on local distributors. Otherwise, it goes to a uh, mobile web mobile web page, optimized mobile web. So we give it a touch in here, and now we can actually order directly from the app this exact product, the Sky Vodka. So instead of the dash button, which would require you to buy the button, receive the button, then pair it to your phone, which pairs it to your Amazon account, which then you pair to your Wi-Fi network at home, then you push the Amazon Dash button. This allows you, without any setup whatsoever, to tap with your NFC and load um, the reordering right on your phone. 
there's a lot more flexibility too because we're using the mobile phone as a user interface as opposed to the button. So if I want to order two or three or I want to order a different size, I have all of that flexibility with all of the convenience. The buttons so. are uh, affordable, but they kind of like subsidized. These, uh, yeah, these are affordable. Be very affordable. Yeah, these are affordable enough that you could send it as a direct mail. You could distribute it at a, uh, a retailer. Just hand them out in the street. You can hand them out on the street. You can insert them into a magazine. There's a lot of flexibility with this technology, also because there's no battery inside. As we showed with NFC, it's actually powered by the radio power from the phone, which means that you don't need to put a battery inside to make it an interactive object. You should uh, partner up with every pizzeria, <laughs> every fast food restaurant, and they have a bunch of that under the counter, and as soon as the repeat customers keep coming back, yes. and they always order the same, they start telling them, hey, just put one of these in the fridge, okay, we'll give it to you right now, exactly. and then it will be easier for you to order the same stuff every, yeah. every day. That's a or product I would day. use, absolutely. So they, 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 should, they, they should pay you a lot for this. $100 for 100 or something. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the kind of thing that drives a lot of value. When you think about you know, driving value from the Internet of Things, there are a lot of different ways you can do it. But in this case, we're driving commerce specifically. We're driving the purchase of a particular product, and that's what makes it such a powerful commercial value proposition for our customers. And then you have a, a whole uh, back, up, uh, back end uh, Exactly. So this is our Connect platform, and this is our cloud multi-tenant software system. So what this allows our customers to do is understand where are people using, where are people using the products, and also understand how frequently products are being interacted with. And so this all happens through the cloud. So customers have access to this when they, when they buy a ThinFilm NFC solution. So the NFC tags are configured in such a way that they report back to the system to give the brands visibility into real world activity. So the customers will get that included with their service with you. They get uh, the tags, but also software. Exactly, so ThinFilm's approach to NFC is a combination of the physical and the digital. The physical could be these reordering magnets, it could be other types of implementations. We've done labels, we've done net collars. You have them in these. So this is, uh, this is the Astral Tequila. What's his name? The net collar. This guy. Jonathan Weinstein, special, the most interesting six bottles. I know, is he here? Uh, Is that is that him? Uh, I think that's a slightly different guy. It's a slightly Although, different. Yeah, sorry. Yes. It's a different. This guy, it, yeah, this guy has. I think uh, it's inspired. That guy has more hair. It's but it's inspired. Yeah. Indeed. Okay. Indeed it is. So, so the most important or most interesting. The most interesting man in the world. So yes. So what's he has, the NFC tag doing here? So in this case, this is launching some exclusive content, um, and this is a video. So it's designed uh, to bring this bottle to life in a way that's fun, um, in a way that's engaging with the consumer. Um, so there's many different things you can do with NFC. And the platform, the Connect platform, makes it possible to show videos, it makes it possible to do reordering e-commerce, makes it possible to enter a contest, as we did with Parvidio, which is a popular Spanish white wine. This was a nationwide campaign in Spain last summer. So it's saying it's tapping on the target to win 1,000 euros. So this campaign is now inactive because it's concluded, but the idea was you would tap on the bottle, you would uh, go directly to a contest entry page, you'd have the opportunity to enter into the contest. Very successful for the brand. Uh, they were thrilled with the return on investment, but also very successful to the consumers because it was easier than ever for them to engage with the NFC and enter the contest. There was no hassle involved. All right. So, so that's what ThinFilm has been up to, but there's a... Uh, oh. What is this one? Yep, so this is an example of a, uh, an NFC tag on, on an elastomer. So this is called the, the Bedford Elastic Tag. So many people in the US will know the concept of the twist tie. And that was invented by the same company that invented this Elastic Tag. So very, very popular for um, attaching this to uh, all sorts of different product form factors. You can put it on the neck of a bottle. Uh, you could put it around uh, even items like produce. Um, so it has a lot of flexibility, literally and figuratively. Uh, when you are going to equip an item with NFC. Right. So. Right, there's uh, lots of potential. Maybe you can have a little tag. You stick on uh, Tom's, and then when you pick your phone, you yeah. can be sending a message to the whole family of condiments or something. Yeah, it's absolutely you possible. Be of those. So, so many triggers you can have for, for NFC. NFC is a very flexible, but it's a platform technology. So, what kind of content, what kind of experience you want to drive on NFC is really up to your creativity.